Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking a look at PCSX2 on Linux. And so I'm actually going to be running um, PCSX2 version 1.5, which is actually not the stable version, but the sort of development version. The reason why I wanted to do a video on this was because I found this app or this emulator on the GNOME Software Center. So I thought, okay, that's pretty cool if this program is on here now. I like Flatpak, so I thought, why not check it out? And so yeah, I just kind of wanted to give an overview really of this emulator. This won't be like a compilation of games. This is somewhat of a setup because there are a lot of quirks to getting this to run smoothly. I guess you can take this as a kind of guide. When you install this and you get it running, or initially it'll give you a a sort of setup wizard. Obviously the one big thing to even move forward is to download PS2 BIOS, which you could really search and you know put them in the right folder. I won't really go into that today here. But once you do that, you should be able to kind of play around with the, with the program here. And so the very first thing you want to do for video, you don't really need to change anything here. It's already kind of configured by default to work okay without any issues. I obviously will mess around with certain things. Like if you want the resolution to be higher, 3x native, 4x native, you can do that. I have enabled that and then also anisotropic filtering to 16x because again, they're not really, it's not really going to have an effect on my GPU here. And I did change this extra rendering threads. Don't think it's going to help too much either. Like I said, my PC is more than adequate for this emulator. But yeah, otherwise you don't really need to mess around here at all. Now for audio though, you will have to play around with some settings. And this is actually the case for the version 1.4 of PCSX2, so the stable version. It, the audio has never worked by default on Linux, so I've had to tweak something here in the settings. By default, this emulator or this program has port audio. Um, I'm not sure why. I guess it can work on multiple platforms but for linux to get the audio working perfectly smooth you're going to want to select sdl audio i guess because pulse audio works better on linux i think the controller settings is an issue only with this dev uh, emulator or dev version 1.5 i go to the plugin settings and i had an issue where i couldn't it wasn't recognizing my controller. So I would click the directional pad and enter input on my controller, which is the PS4 controller, and it just wouldn't work. Luckily enough though, if you go to a plugin bio selector, you can change, I guess, the plugins that you use. And again, since I have no issues with this, I leave that as is, but with this, um, pad plugins. I switch from 2.0 to 1.3, which looks like it's a legacy version. And then I configured and it was finally reading the PS4 controller. So that worked perf perfectly good. Once I've made those changes, the game started working perfectly fine without any issues. But there are a few other tips I would recommend. If you go to emulation settings, most of these settings I don't really touch. From what I remember, there are some, some games that will need you to tweak a few things here. But most games don't require any special fixes. I do go to this GS window setting and I change it from standard to widescreen. And obviously because I think the PS2 games were on a standard for the three ratio here but I switch it to widescreen here and I think that's about it everything else again unless you know what you're doing I recommend you leave untouched I recommend you boot ISO select fast because otherwise it's going to take you to the traditional PS2 menu although you can take a look at that for nostalgic reasons if you're down with that but anywho um I'm only going to test this one game here, Airblade. 
it's a an old school game not very popular but it's a very fun game i used to play and so i'm gonna run it for you guys here so you can see here the fps it's gonna stay at 60 fps and if i double click you go to full screen so for now i don't have my usual save file here so i'm just gonna play a quick score attack here But yes, this PS2 emulator, even though it was made a long time ago and it does get regular updates, maybe not as much as their emulators, it still works pretty good and this being a PS2 game, it doesn't require much horsepower. But yes, if you like this video and you found it helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.